Hey Fit Rank, it's Sergeant Ryan's here. And today we're gonna to be going through a level two workout with you. Uh, so let's first go over what I want you to do for your warm up. Uh, we're gonna be doing a set of mountain climbers, a set of jumping jacks, and a set of squat thrusts. All for 30 seconds a piece, two times each, which is gonna equal out to a three minute warm up. All right, so for mountain climbers, if you haven't seen it before, all we're gonna be doing, down on the floor, hands right below those shoulders, from here, all we're going to be doing is bringing those knees into our chest, just like so. Don't drive back. Don't let your hips go up high. Take most of your weight on your upper body so it allows your feet to move freely. So just like that, hitting 30 seconds. Right from there, standing up, we're just going to go into jumping jacks. All jumping jacks is from here, legs go out, arms go up, okay? Right back down. Okay, give me a basic jumping jack, 30 seconds. Right after that, we're going on to squat thrust. Now your squat thrust, all we're gonna be doing there, squat down, hands go to the floor, body shoots backwards, okay? Nice, tight position, hips aren't dropping down too low, okay? Hips are up high, nice and tight, okay? Coming right back up, just like so. Again, 30 seconds, doing that two times. Do it again, mountain climbers, jumping jacks, squat thrust, three minute warm ups up. Then, going straight on to circuit one. All right, so circuit one, starting off deadlifts. Now, um, you can use dumbbells, uh, barbell, kettlebells, whatever you may have. I'm gonna demonstrate today with kettlebells. So, with this, main thing to focus on are the deadlifts. Small bend in those knees, and we're going to be hinging forward from the hips, from the waist area. Making sure that that back stays flat. Big thing on this, not to have that back rounded. Back is flat, shoulders are pulled back, supporting that weight, gonna go down, pull right back up, using those glutes and hamstrings to lift back up. So it's gonna look something like this. Good grab, back's flat from here, breathing out. Lift up, squeeze, right back down. Small bend in those knees, down, tap, up. Breathing out. One more time. Back's flat. Good. And up. All right. So with all the exercises today, you can be doing them for 30 seconds, 15 second break. All right. So hit those deadlifts, 30 seconds on, 15 second break, and then boom, going right into dips. All right. With the dips, all you need to have is a bench, a chair, a plyo box, Whatever you may have, have a seat on it. Hands are gonna be going back. Grip that box. I'm gonna push my feet out in front of me. I'm gonna keep a small bend in those knees, okay? I'm not gonna have them bent too much. I'm also not gonna have my hips pushing too far away from that box bench, whatever you may have. So from here, drop my hips straight down, drive up. <sighs> okay, drop those hips straight down, bend those elbows, <sighs> drive back up, okay? So this exercise here, Working the back of those arms, those tricep muscles. Um, focus, bend those elbows, drop those hips straight down. Don't let your hips get too far out in front of you. It's gonna put a lot of strain on your shoulder. All right, so again, you got dips, 30 seconds, 15 second break. Then we're going to your push-ups. You get this box out of the way. So with your push-ups, if you have a small kettlebell, if you have a dumbbell, something that'll give you a good reference point for how far you're getting down. Um, so I'm gonna put that kettlebell there because every time I do my push-up, I'm gonna go down, tap my chest to it, come back up. Now, with these push-ups, try to do them on your toes, all right? If you can't do them on your toes yet, that's fine, do them on your knees. But if you can, start on your toes, do as many as you can. If it's two, three, four, five, that's fine. Once you've done as many as you can, then drop down your knees, make sure you're in good position, and then continue on for that 30 seconds. All right, so with those push-ups, hands are gonna go straight out, a little bit wider than those shoulders. Feet are going up flat, stomach is tight, okay? My hips aren't dropped down too low. From there, dropping down, tap my chest, right back up. All right, down, tap my chest, right back up. Do as many as you can. If you gotta drop to those knees, that's fine. From here, drop down, my hips to stay down low, Tap the weight, 
right back up. I'm not gonna have my hips up in the air as I do this. Hips are down, tap, right back up. All right, so we got that. 30 seconds on. Um, after that, you can take a 45 minute break in between, grab water, um, do whatever you need to do. Um, after that 45 minute break, or 45 uh, second break, not 45 minutes, uh, 45 second break, then we're going on to circuit number two. So circuit number two is gonna be a kettlebell swing into a goblet squat. So with that, choose the kettlebell here. So from here, we're going to do a regular kettlebell swing. Okay, you're gonna come up and swing, and then you're gonna transition, okay, my hands, circle down, grab onto the bell, or the, the horns of the bell here, and then we're gonna go into a goblet squat. From here, I'm gonna push the weight straight back out, and swing, and wrap. Go right back into that goblet squat. So, getting that swing, and wrap, and squat. All right, so, with that goblet squat, make sure that your weight is on your heels and your knees aren't going out past your toes. Weight's here, dropping down. If you can touch those elbows to your inner thigh, great. If you don't have that flexibility yet, don't worry, you'll get there. Um, so, 30 seconds on, 15 second break, going on to those bent kickbacks now. Um, so from there, I'm gonna use kettlebells today. Um, you can use dumbbells if you'd like. Whatever weight you have is fine. So, with these bent kickbacks, again, small bend in those knees, hinge forward from the waist. My back is flat, it stays flat. Elbows are gonna be up to my side. From here, I'm gonna drive those arms straight back, flex those triceps, good squeeze, bring them back down. Try not to let those elbows drop down too low. Try to keep those arms right by your side. Drive back. Okay, get that burn in those back of those arms. So, 30 seconds on, 15 second break, and then sumo squats. So, again, these can be done with a dumbbell um, or a kettlebell, either way is fine. Um, all we're gonna do, feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart, uh, holding the dumbbell or kettlebell uh, straight down. We're gonna keep our weight on our heels as we do this. So we're gonna squat down. We're gonna try to tap that weight on the floor, straight back up. Again, give it a good glute squeeze at the top. Shoulders stay back, making sure the body doesn't lean too far forward. So weight on those heels, drop down, tap the floor, right back up. Okay, one more time. Drop down, touch, and up. All right, so that's your sumo squat. And on both of these circuits, make sure, do circuit one, one time, do it again. So you're doing that twice. Once you're done with that, going on to circuit two, okay? Doing that one time. Boom, take your 45 second break, do that circuit two again, and you've completed this level two workout today. We'll see you next time.